kind of difficult working on the street when the street's barely wide enough for two cars. So I recently had an issue with my battery and after sending it to my father-in-law to overcharge it, try to get a little life back out of it, today I thought, well, I'll, uh, I'll go take it on a test drive. And uh, from a battery perspective, I think everything was pretty well fine. But uh, ultimately, uh, the car did die. And I uh, realized it while I was still rolling. So I went ahead and popped it into second gear and popped the clutch. And that didn't give me any love. So I was able to try that one more time. And uh, before rolling to a stop, that didn't do any good either. So uh, I kind of suspect maybe I've lost ignition altogether, no spark. But uh, I won't know until I've gone back there and had a better look. And I got to get my trusty uh, camera stand, of course, to record the uh, whole event and uh, see what we can see. Let's see what we can tell visually. Uh, part of me thought maybe this whole operation went south and the coil fell or something, but that's not the case. Wires are still basically where you'd hope for them to be. Uh, let's see. My fuel filter is uh, nice and full nothing super obvious so I think what I probably want to do is just uh, make sure I'm getting spark I kind of suspect I'm not so I'll grab a couple things to check that out. All right, first things first. God, really? Come on, get out of there. All right, let's just see if I can... Set this. There we go. That should be good. Am I really getting nothing? That, that other ground was always good before too. Yeah, I'm getting nothing. All right, well, isn't that interesting? All right, I just probed the positive side of the battery cable and determined that, yeah, it's lit up. So this is also loading up. That's also lighting up. So we're good here. So we're just going to probe this uh, second fuse in, should be my ignition. And 
sure enough I'm getting nothing. So let's just see. Huh. Fuse is good. So, I'm kind of feeling like the key is not delivering the signal. supposed to be connected so it could be the fuse box itself failing me might need to jumper that but let's make sure I'm right first all right we're gonna get some uh, continuity checking going on here all right first of all touch my leads triple zeros Always a nice sanity check. <clears throat> now, I'm just going to hit that plate there. That plate there, I get triple zeros. So, why do I get voltage on the one side and not the other when I turn the key? Doesn't make sense, they should be directly linked. Surely I'm missing something. All right, let's, uh, let's check that again. Maybe it'll look different to me this time. My dash isn't lighting. Well, that could be from this being disconnected. All right, super weird. Let's just back this up a little bit. Yeah, not gonna worry about that just yet. It's kind of difficult working on the street when the street's barely wide enough for two cars. Well, maybe a little bit more than two cars, but still. Cars constantly cruising by. I'm trying to keep my door open. All right, let's see here. Yeah, this wire. I need to improve some of this routing at some point. It's not. Well, now it is again. Okay. Let's go back there and see if anything looks different now. Let's see here. I'm going to turn the key first. Still nothing. All right, let's go 
Let's see what that means. Well, that was exciting. So basically, it looks like my uh, fuse block is no good. So there's a wire that uh, connects from the key to the far right terminal in the fuse block. And that was interesting. And then um, that is supposed to be uh, directly tied uh, to the next block over on the lower half where these two black wires connect one coming from the ignition and the other one leaving and going to the coil and um, you might have been able to kind of tell in, in, in you know my video there that uh, it kind of connected for a second there but then it didn't um, at least you know delivering the uh, voltage across and I stood there for a minute and thought, oh, you know, what, you know, wiring connectors do I need to, you know, jumper this all to make sure everything still works and everything. And I decided to make it a little easier on myself and just stripped a short piece of wire at both ends and stuffed it into the uh, spade terminals from each of those two wires thus completing the circuit that is supposed to be completed inside of the fuse block and no longer works reliably. So, I've had it in my mind that I don't really like that I'm using modern fuses. I know that kind of seems dumb, but I've got a whole bunch of the old stop fuses and, you know, part of me has always just kind of been like, well, you know, they made those things good. They made them to last and, you know, and they, they should still be able to work today. And, and uh, well, obviously this modern fuse block that's in here doesn't work properly any longer. And, you know, maybe I could take it apart and figure out why and fix it. And that might be what I do because, you know, I could do that without spending money. But um, it makes me kind of want to go back to the original fuse block at this point but yeah man that troubleshooting that's just not what i expected at all man the coil was you know still mounted very solidly and all the wires were still good and, and all of that and uh you know it's funny it, you're always told like oh you know start simple you know make sure you get voltage to the coil hey wow i didn't have voltage to the coil i mean you always do man every time you troubleshoot that problem there's always voltage to the coil and then you move on to the next thing but no this time there wasn't and uh so it's kind of an interesting problem to have uh diagnosed and uh you know it's a sunday afternoon what else am i going to be doing actually i could be doing lots of things but in this case uh, it, it was fun. It was a welcomed um, troubleshooting process. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of fun to find something new sometimes. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, you know, keep on wrenching.